everyone knows the timeless story of the hero who rescues the princess. He overcomes every obstacle and defeats monsters just to be with her. But what if the princess doesn't want to be rescued? Subscribe to Woa Fairy Tales to find out. That day was a special day. The people of the Mushroom Kingdom gathered at the castle for Princess Peach's prospective husband selection ceremony. Even the plumbing brothers, Mario and Luigi, were invited. I wonder who will be the lucky one to win Princess Peach's heart. Definitely not you. Thank you all for coming to today's event. Now, I will announce Peach's future husband. The lucky man is... Unfortunately, Peach's suitor selection ceremony was ruined by Bowser, the infamous monster of the kingdom. Uh, don't harm the princess! <laughs> the princess belongs to me. We won't let that happen! <laughs> Bowser ran quickly out of the castle gate and jumped into a sewer pipe, disappearing from sight. Distraught by his daughter's abduction, the king was willing to do anything to bring her back. Whoever rescues the princess will be appointed as the royal knight. I will provide as much gold as needed just to bring my daughter back here. Your majesty, don't worry. We will surely bring the princess back. Please, entrust us with this task. The king trusted Mario and Luigi because of their bravery in the past. He provided them with weapons to aid them in battle. The princess's life depends on you two. On their way to Bowser's fiery fortress, Mario and Luigi encountered many Koopa Troopas, Goombas, and even a man-eating plant. But they were no match for the power of the two brothers. Yahoo! I will marry the princess and become the richest man in the Mushroom Kingdom. I will buy houses bigger than the king's castle. Come on, you're thinking too far ahead. Let's focus on saving the princess. Finally, they arrived at Bowser's massive fortress. In front of the fortress was a bubbling river of lava with no bridge to cross. <laughs> but the sight inside was not what they expected. Mm. Princess Peach was cuddled in the arms of a stranger and did not look like she was in danger. What are you doing here? We were sent by the king. Who are you? Why are you with the princess? It's me, Bowser. Don't lie. Please calm down and let us explain. Behind the weird couple was a tragic story. In the past, Bowser and Peach wow. were secretly lovers. <laughs> Bowser loved Peach and had saved her many times from kidnappers and thieves who wanted to harm her. <laughs> Peach gradually fell for him and accepted his love. They met secretly, but one day, they were discovered by the king. Your majesty opposed their relationship. You are forbidden to get close to my daughter. She was the only princess of the kingdom, and she could not be with a monster. Their appearance and backgrounds did not match. Bowser still hmm. sent letters to Peach. In one of them, he proposed to plan a kidnapping to be together. Peach thought her father would never accept Bowser as he was a monster. She needed to create a device that could turn Bowser into a human. The main ingredient was a rare rainbow mushroom, which the Mushroom Kingdom had only one of. It was carefully guarded in the kingdom's basement 
and only royalty could access it. When Peach and Bowser returned to the castle, they attempted to huh? create a magical crown oh. from the rainbow mushroom. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> the magical crown succeeded in turning Bowser into a human. They planned to ask the king for permission to be together. After finishing the plan, Bowser sadly hmm. held Peach's hand. He just wanted to be with the one he loved. I understand now. So you did everything for Peach. Alright, I will help you explain to the king. <gasps> no! It must be you who cast spell on Peach. <clears throat> How could she love a monster like you? <clears throat> that purple mushroom is an unfinished experiment of my father's. Eating it will make you huge, but the side effect is a permanent change in personality, becoming violent forever. The king must have known the truth, but he stubbornly gave the mushroom to Luigi, desperate to bring Peach back. Peach will be my wife. The Mushroom Kingdom will also belong to me. Wake up, Luigi! Bowser angry grabbed a Koopa and threw it at Luigi, who easily hit it back. He then ran to help Mario hold on to Luigi. Luigi struggled and collided with both of them so hard they were thrown and fainted. <laughs> Luigi held onto Peach tightly and smashed the door to escape. It took a while for Mario and Bowser to regain <laughs> consciousness. Let's go. We need to ask for help. <sighs> Mario and Bowser worked together to go to the nearby Ice Kingdom. Hmm? In front of the Penguin hmm. King, Mario and Bowser told everything and knelt down to beg for help. I'm afraid I can't help you. The side effects of that dangerous purple mushroom cannot be measured. In desperation, <gasps> Bowser saw a chest under the king's golden throne. He remembered that the Ice Kingdom held the Hope Star, a powerful artifact that made its huh? bearer invincible. My crown can turn anyone who wears it into a human. Do you want to trade your Hope Star for this crown? Are you crazy? What, you're afraid of becoming a monster forever? It's okay. For me, Peter's safety is the most important thing. The Penguin King hmm. pondered for a moment and agreed to the exchange of his artifact. The Penguin King was quite superficial and obsessed with the beauty of humans. He planned to give the crown to his wife to become a beautiful woman. With the star in hand, Ooh. Mario and Bowser returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom used to be bustling, but now it is quiet. Hurry up! We need lots of purple <gasps> mushrooms and weapons! I'll take the entire <clears throat> army to conquer other kingdoms! Luigi <gasps> locked up the king in the dungeon, and <gasps> now he rules the entire <gasps> kingdom. What are you doing here? Let the peach go, Luigi! <gasps> you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm fine, but where is your crown? Oh, I traded it for the star from Mario. But... <gasps> Quickly, go make the antidote for Luigi. I'll stay here to help Mario. <clears throat> You're crazy, Luigi. I won't let you get away with this. What can you do? You and that turtle monster. You're nothing. Looks like I have to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Peach is mine! <laughs> we'll see about that. Wake 
love Luigi. The bitch doesn't love you. Shut up! <laughs> Mario summoned all his strength from the Hope Star. He released a huge flame that was so strong it almost burned Luigi. But Mario didn't know that the purple mushroom had also given Luigi a power equivalent to the Hope Star. <laughs> At that moment, Peach appeared with the antidote for Luigi. <gasps> oh, did I cause this? Are you okay, Luigi? I'm truly sorry, everyone. I didn't expect things to go this far. Uh, it's okay. It's all over now. Luigi! I gave you a weapon to save my daughter, but instead, you played a trick like that? I'm truly sorry, your majesty. But it's also my fault for giving you the purple mushroom. I was wrong this time. I forgive you. But you're not allowed to think about Peach anymore. Yes, your majesty. The people around began to whisper uh. about Bowser and Peach. <laughs> Feeling embarrassed, the king expressed his <sighs> disapproval. Father, everything was a play that Bowser and I stage, but it was all because we wanted you to accept our love. I made a crown for Bowser to become human, but he exchanged it for the star. But even if he couldn't become human, I still love him. Please understand, Father. Your Majesty, please allow me to be with Peach. I promise to protect her and the Mushroom Kingdom for the rest of my life. Do you really love my daughter? Mm. Apparently convinced mm. by the love that knows no boundaries <sighs> between Bowser and Peach, <laughs> the king finally accepted mm. the two. The king held a grand wedding for <laughs> Bowser and Peach. Thank you very much. From now on, will always be the hero that this Mushroom Kingdom needs. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. <laughs> and congratulations to the two of you. I hope you'll be happy together. Bowser and Peach <laughs> prove that regardless of their origins, everyone deserves to have a love that is complete and fulfilling. From then on, they live happily ever after. The wedding of the young Duke William and Princess Vivian took place on a beautiful spring weather day. The ladies and gentlemen all gathered in sacred arms. William and Vivian, will you be together for the rest of your lives? I protest! Huh? 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 Oh, nothing. Don't be afraid. I protested because huh? I wanted to say one more congratulation to that bride, who was an old best friend huh? anyway. Princess, this... this... My dear friend, huh? hope you two will be happy, just one day. Huh? Oh, I hear the screams and scoldings of the princess who has the most terrible appearance as well as attitude in the history of the Miraculous Kingdom. Huh? So what? These words I've learned by my heart. <laughs> the fiancé married my best friend? Well, I thought there was nothing more embarrassing than that. Until I met him, the Cavalier Duncan, who was rewarded mm. by the king for his great feat. Along with the gold, silver, and treasures, he got the glory huh? of his life. And yet, he dares to deny me in front of all the guests? Again, I heard the mocking noise of me, the one who is abandoned. They think it's natural to be denied for being an ugly person. <laughs> what have huh? I done wrong? I don't want myself mm. to be so ugly. Beyond the confines of endurance, and the rumors that witches are evil and treacherous, I still come looking for her. Oh, the mighty witch, grant me the ability to make any man in the world be enchanted and miserable for me. Spell love? Exciting! It's not impossible, it's just limited magic. 
It can't affect true love, princess. I don't need true love anymore. <laughs> Hold on. You don't need it. You'll show up sooner or later. When you meet him, you have to make him agree to marry you for 14 days. Huh? Otherwise... I know. What is the catch? I don't need gold or treasures. Huh? If you can't complete the mission, you will turn into a beast forever. Huh? Guarding my bell towers, huh? so... This is... Huh? This game is too risky. I understand. But when I remembered the ironic laughter <laughs> I've had, I gave up. Besides, if he was my fateful lover, 14 days would be enough for me to make him be mine. As soon as I left the witch's tower, the effect of spell love was very versatile. All the men I met, they were quickly sucked away. At first, I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Too bad, after just a few days, I'm getting bored with those pesky people. What we really need is not a lot of people who love us with empty spells, but someone who loves us truly. And the day also comes, the day I meet the only one unaffected by spell love. Why you? It's crazy! Why can't it be me? But how? If I wasn't afraid to turn into a bell tower beast, I'd be ignoring someone like him, but... Alright, I'm scared. Since then, every day I do everything I can to seduce Duncan. Of course he's avoiding me rather than the comet. It's okay, I'm best at exertion. <laughs> Cavalier's first day diary. I sent Duncan an invitation to my party. Another denial. For the first time, it wasn't scary. Turned out the scary thing is that there, come the second time, or even third time. Cavalier's second day diary. This time, with more effort, I have to go crazy to find out what his interests are. What a boring man. He just practices with his sword all day. So I sacrificed my slumber. I woke up early with Duncan in training. It wasn't as easy as I thought, even though couldn't even lift the sword. <laughs> the next day, I didn't get any better. I even fell off my feet. Duncan had to take me home. Sweet, to thank that romantic moment, I had the maids panic because I myself joined the kitchen and made Duncan's favorite dish. What a good daughter. I almost gave my father a new kitchen. But the result wasn't really bad. <laughs> no, not so bad. I realized that at the beginning, I was only do everything perfunctorily. Gradually, I seemed to be really interested in pursuing Duncan. It's weird when I follow the plan. I really put my mind into it, even if it's not a task to me. In the end, I was the one who has a crush on him. In the end of the 14th day, I bet my last chance to once again ask Duncan to my party. Don't say anything. Just decide to come or not. That day, if you don't show up, I'll announce my engagement to someone else at the party. If you come, I will throw away all my pride to confess it to you. Why always men go first? This time, I'll take the initiative. I just want you come. God, you didn't even give me that chance. I was waiting, and waiting at the party. Like forever, forever. When the guests started to huh? leave and the clock chimed at midnight, I gradually turned into a beast with my heart broken. Witnessing this scene, people were scared, chased away, and even used torches, arms to attack me. No, please! I will not hurt anyone, please! When I was panicked and ran to the witch's bell tower, I saw Duncan. He was late. Huh? There were traces of fighting on his body. I wanted to ask him what happened. Why did he treat me like that? However, it was too late. Duncan persisted in pursuing me, but I resisted seeing him. She, it's me. Please open the door. No, go away. I've become an ugly beast, much uglier than I was before. I can't see anyone in this world anymore, especially you. Did you always huh? accuse me of not being pretty? I never hate you because you weren't beautiful. Jean, I have my own misery. Dragon, do not harm the other. That girl suffered a big burn on her face because of saving me. So I vowed my whole life to make up for her. But after that day, I couldn't find any clues about her. Then, I also had to hurry to train and conquer. 
until now, I had a chance to return to the capital. I rejected you by reason of my responsibility to the benefactor, not because you are not beautiful. That day, I hastily denied you in front of many people, and I really regretted it. Then, I was quite surprised when you tried to approach me instead of being hostile. First, your deed annoyed me. I didn't know when everything, everything from you that really touched me, the rejection in my hand gradually dissipated. But, but you still did choose not to show up on time? Before I went to the party, the witch had sent me a letter. I wrote that if I went to the forest, she would tell me who saved me. I have fallen in love with you. So I can't spend my life making up for my benefactor anymore. However, I will still use another way to repay the old favor. When I arrived, there was only the Devil Crow, the witch's pet. It held back, made me late, broke my promise to you. and walked in. Go away! I'm gonna hurt you! I'm almost completely turned into a beast! Jean, don't be afraid. I'm here. I will never leave. At that moment, the witch suddenly appeared. Huh? <laughs> Hello, huh? Duncan. <clears throat> my old friend, who bathed through the blood of my fiery dragon, made me using a whole bag of trick to destroy you without using magic. Through the magic mirror, I knew you two were destined. How wonderful that God supported me and made stupid princess <gasps> bring herself here so I could come up with something like this. <laughs> huh? Now let's see what your little girlfriend can do! <laughs> At that moment, I seemed to lose my mind. My head hurt. It hurt very much. In my mind were all the words that forced me to attack Duncan. Otherwise, I'd go crazy with pain. I would still see myself rushing toward him. Just couldn't help it. He was a cavalier, so he was easy to fight back. But no, Duncan was definitely just avoiding me and not trying to hurt me. I clearly saw the arm was raising, just wanting to lower it to take the life of someone we love. Jean, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you sooner. I love you. The emotion made my bestiality lessen. Taking the opportunity, Duncan snapped the knife in my hand and charged towards the witch. By the time the pain was completely gone, I woke up and Duncan was already with me. Duncan, are you alright? Witch, where's the witch? It's alright. Huh? I destroyed her. Ow, oh, my face! Don't look! Gee, you must have heard a lot, right? I love huh? you no matter what you become. Whatever you look like. To prove his words, he gently huh? placed a warm kiss on top of my ugly wound. Duncan recounted that the burn formed by the magical huh? fire was now completely gone just after a flash. Huh? When I told him where the burn came from and both mm. strung up everything, it turned out that the girl Duncan's been looking for was me. Cool, huh? Best of both worlds. I can give grace and be with the person I love the most. Yeah, it seemed like I finally got hmm. to go to my own wedding. I'm so happy. I've conquered the boy I love. What about you? Wow, fairy tales. <laughs>